Clocking a sizzling net worth of $220 million, one certain potty mouth chef blows all of his competitors out of the water. With steam coming out of his ears, Gordon Ramsay has formed a brilliant, divisive on-screen persona known all over the world. Thanks to an array of award-winning restaurants and profanity-filled TV shows, the fiery kitchen master has managed to stuff his wallet to the absolute brim. So how does the world's most successful chef flaunt his cash? You might not spot him eating airplane food, but expect to see the Michelin-starred chef cruising around in expensive supercars, living it up in exotic mansions, and buying luxury items like no tomorrow. Turn up the graphics on level three, will you? Yes, chef. It's not exactly a revelation to learn that Gordon spent a mountain of money getting his portfolio of restaurants up and running. Heck, he's got 15 establishments in London alone. But we'll get to those later. First up, we're homing in on Gordon's hair-raising, money-guzzling collection of hypercars. There's just something about the all-star chef cruising around in a supercar, getting out via a scissor door while sporting his classic white double-breasted chef jacket. That, well, raises a few eyebrows. Alas, the cashed-up celebrity hasn't held back when it comes to buying wheels. Thankfully, his houses have more than enough garage space to accommodate. Cast your eye toward one of the most expensive cars in his collection, the Bentley Continental GT, coming in at a jealousy-inducing price tag of $180,000. While that number is high enough to make the rest of us shed a tear, compared to Gordon's annual estimated salary of 60 million bucks, it's barely a drop in the pond. While his garage has welcomed dozens of cars from all over the world at different moments in time, above all else, the Hell's Kitchen star has a particular love for acquiring rare and downright expensive Italian vehicles. You don't need to look much further than his shiny new Ferrari F12 Berlinetta for that statement to ring true. This limited production roadster would have set him back upwards of $300,000. Ramsey is also one of just 210 people in the world to hold the keys to the LaFerrari Aperta. At about $1.5 million, the base LaFerrari was already too expensive for most to afford, but the Aperta edition was even more exclusive, selling at a reported $2 million. Dang. On top of that, throw in a Ferrari 430 Scuderia and a 458 Italia, which goes for around $225,000. Then there's the half-million-dollar Ferrari F12 TDF the $260,000 Ferrari 488 GTB, the 612 Scaglietti, the $200,000 California T, the $335,000 Ferrari 812 Superfast, and the Ferrari 550 Marinello, which was a surprise gift from his wife Tana, after Gordon had been awarded his first three-star Michelin award. Alongside his ludicrous Ferrari collection, our favorite English chef, Sorry, Jamie Oliver, it's nothing personal. Also boasts a million dollar black and gold McLaren Senna, a KTM Expo, an Aston Martin DBS Super Ligera, and the ultra exclusive Porsche 918 Spider, which sells for, hold on to your hats, people, $845,000. Oh boy. Seriously, can you think of a more impressive celebrity car collection? Since expensive pieces of automotive art like these shouldn't be kept out in the backyard for Mother Nature to damage, Gordon has made sure his properties boast enormous garages, fitted with more than enough space for his beloved cars. While he does indeed spend plenty of time over in the UK, the celebrity chef, thanks to his many TV shows, also finds himself camped out in Los Angeles for months on end. With David and Victoria Beckham as next-door neighbors, his Bel Air mansion certainly doesn't come cheap. At a scorching price tag of $7 million, as you'd expect, the five bedroom, four bathroom property, which spans 7,413 square feet, comes jam-packed with all the amenities you could ever ask for. It features a fully decked out kitchen with a massive island, a swimming pool, a sprawling garden with plenty of space for entertaining, neon lit headboards in the bedrooms, and for a little splash of fun, a giant light up smiley face on the wall. As we hop across the pond, Gordon's London home might not boast the extravagant size of his Bel Air mansion, however in the kitchen department, it's a real winner. Why? Because there's not just one kitchen, there's two, and they're both huge. As a remodeling addition to the property, the second kitchen alone cost almost a million bucks, and installing it was far more difficult than your traditional renovation. The new kitchen was so heavy that it had to be lifted into position by a crane. Crazy, right? The property was initially purchased back in 2002 for $3.5 million, but its value has soared since. When the hustle and bustle of London is too much to handle, the Ramsey family also has access to a trio of holiday homes in the English seaside town of Fui, over here in Cornwall. They were reportedly purchased for a combined total of $13 million, the most recent of which was acquired earlier in 2020. And does this beachside mansion make us envious? Mm-hmm. 
When you're worth well over $200 million, with money flowing in from restaurants, TV royalties, guest appearances, books, and sponsorships, you can afford to splurge on some of the finer things in life. But it wasn't always fast cars and sprawling mansions. The potty mouth chef has put in the hard yards and worked tirelessly to get where he is today. Once his professional soccer career hit a roadblock due to injury, he needed a new outlet, a new path enter cooking school. Even though he studies hotel management, Gordon persevered in the culinary world and eventually transitioned to working high-pressure kitchens in London, shadowing industry greats like Marco Pierre White. In 1998, he finally achieved his dream of opening his own restaurant in London, creatively called Restaurant Gordon Ramsay, where he earned three Michelin stars. The TV side of his career came shortly after in 1999. He was the focus of a British documentary miniseries called Boiling Point, which tracked his working life as he opened his first restaurant. Fast forward to 2004, with more restaurants under his belt and a rapidly growing reputation, Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares and the British version of Hell's Kitchen were born. With that came significant scrutiny for his attitude, but also, of course, significant viewership and income. How could Gordon capitalize on the success of these two angered-filled reality cooking shows? One word. America. With reality television in full bloom in the U.S., the time was ripe for Ramsay to transition across the Atlantic. So in May of 2005, the American version of Hell's Kitchen launched. And with that, more views and more money came tumbling in. On Hell's Kitchen, Ramsay was paid nearly $230,000 per episode. That's nearly five times the average American's entire yearly salary. As time passed, we saw Ramsay's ruthless comments and fiery attitude become iconic. It continued with his role on MasterChef in 2010. However, a much softer side to Gordon was unveiled during his time on MasterChef Junior in 2013. Perhaps he's just a big teddy bear, after all. Along with his TV and restaurant work, Ramsay has written and published more than 20 books. All in all, thanks to the diversified income, Ramsay has propelled himself up the rankings, now officially to the second richest chef on the planet, behind none other than the fellow British personality Jamie Oliver, who has a net worth of $300 million. Still, Gordon's $220 million is nothing to scoff at. It puts his value well ahead of the likes of Ed Sheeran, Ryan Gosling, and Scarlett Johansson, just to name a few. Highlighting his enormous success in 2019, Forbes ranked the restaurateur as the 33rd highest paid celeb in the world. With that much money in the bank, you'd assume that Gordon, as a father of five, spoils his kids absolutely rotten. And while he does give them a few hundred quid worth of spending money here and there, the Scottish-born chef has made it abundantly clear, besides contributing 25% to apartment deposits for each of his kids, in the simplest terms, they're on their own. Gordon won't be leaving them a significant inheritance or spoon-feeding them. Why? because he wants his children to pave their own path, earn their own living, and develop their own skills, as opposed to being handed a free pass through life. The way of thinking extends far beyond inheritance. Ramsay and his wife are strict when it comes to family vacations, too. When flying to Italy or France or wherever it may be, as the parents relish in the high life in first class, the kids are forced to squeeze into cramped economy seats with the rest of us. Good. By saving a few bucks on his kids' boarding passes, Gordon can afford to splurge on a few unique purchases for himself, like that time he paid 30,000 pounds, almost 40 grand American, for his hair transplant. Or that time he spent thousands of dollars on plastic surgery to make himself look less threatening, after none other than Simon Cowell told him to. Evidently, most of Gordon's money doesn't go to Botox, though. It goes back into his many business ventures, particularly his range of award-winning notable restaurants. Over the past couple of decades, the acclaimed chef has funneled tens of millions of dollars into broadening his restaurant empire. Now, the TV loudmouth has 15 restaurants in London, with a total of 35 scattered across the world, from Scotland to Dubai and everywhere in between. He's got eateries in France, Japan, Singapore, Ireland and Canada, and famous restaurants in Qatar, Australia, Italy, Hong Kong, the Czech Republic, and South Africa as well. As for his most famous establishments, arguably the Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse restaurant in the Paris Casino in Las Vegas, or his flagship three Michelin star joint in the Chelsea Borough of London. Although the rock star cook has been awarded 16 Michelin stars throughout his career, he currently holds just seven. Hey, that's still seven more than most chefs. On top of the restaurant empire, millions more have been invested in Gordon's own international production company called Studio Ramsey, which produces many of the foul-mouthed faves that we've come to love over the years. If nearly three dozen actual restaurants weren't impressive enough, Ramsey's also invested a few thousand dollars into a restaurant of a different kind. It's called Restaurant Dash, Gordon Ramsay, and it's actually a video game. 
The app allows players to virtually travel around the globe and master their cooking skills in unique restaurants. If you've ever played it, let us know your thoughts. While the game is free to download, Gordon does make a few bucks from the in-game advertisements. Okay, so we've got fast cars, lavish houses, and restaurants out the wazoo. But when he's not sporting the white chef's coat, Gordon's been known to splurge on another type of luxury, fashion. Case in point, his collection of not one, not two, but three varying Rolex Submariner watches, which can cost up to $20,000 a piece. Rounding out his expensive collection is an Omega Seamaster, which can exceed $10,000, and a Breitling cockpit chronograph, which goes for over $5,000. If you were making $60 million a year, how would you spend it? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the richest, and have a great day. Catch you next time.